a note on savages with some savage birds. This is not a bad thriller, uh, action-packed drama, so to say, but it's not Oliver Stone's best work, um, because Oliver Stone is the director. I was surprised to, uh, to see this uh, film coming from a director who has much more controversial uh, takes on the assassination of Kennedy, JFK, of course. Launched with Platoon, a different view of the Vietnam War, um, acclaimed movie director, writer, and a, a, a perspective which is very close to reality, if not reality itself, as opposed to other films which uh, just um, uh, didn't show the truth. Um, there will be, I would say, two sides of this director. First of all, uh, he has some interesting uh, films, uh, ideas, even if in quite a number of he uh, is promoting the ideas, uh, ideas of conspiracy and exaggerated views on, on some people, leaders, uh, events. Uh, and one could argue that it's because in his uh, uh, civilian life, so to say, uh, the man uh, behind the director has some very extreme political views, which I personally uh, reject completely. He is close to left-wing, extreme left uh, leaders and dictators, the likes of Castro. Um, I don't know how close friends they were, but they seem to be very, very close. Uh, the late uh, Chavez, um, more recently he's, he's, he's doing something, a uh, piece on, on Putin and the fragment I saw was uh, with an Oliver Stone, if not in awe of the big dictator close to us here, uh, still admiring the man. Uh, and to end with, he wrote a letter in spring uh, in support with Mark Ruffalo and others of, of, of Jean-Luc Mélenchon, another, for me, crazy guy, uh, wanting to join the Bolivarian Revolution, which you see what, what it brought in Venezuela. So, with that, <laughs> savages. Um, uh, this is not political. Even if actually we look closer, maybe we will find something over there. But uh, um, I don't know if it's really worth going into details. Uh, the Benicio del Toro, Salma Hayek, uh, they, uh, they perform well, even if Benicio del Toro seemed to me a little over the top, a little exaggerated. And, um, Some mannerism there, but I may be wrong. Uh, a story of what uh, drugs, drug addiction, uh, can can do, uh, but even more, um, uh, drug traffic. So in that sense, if we're looking for a political message, maybe it's better to legalize drugs. An argument found in the Economist, among other respectable uh, media uh, companies. Uh, sources uh, because once you legalize you control and you l eliminate all this uh, crime all this orgy of murders that is involved with a uh, with illegal uh, uh, drag uh, uh, drugs traffic as for the rest what happens is familiar uh, there, there, there's a lot of violence, there are many murders, there's a kidnapping. We have a, a, a trio, a, a menage a trois, 
two men and a woman uh, in love with each other. I'm not sure. I, I don't think the men love each other except for in a platonic way. But anyway, they have this business of, of, of uh, uh, distributing drugs. They get into a conflict uh, with a Mexican cartel led by Salma Hayek. And um, um, the, 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 this cartel is kidnapping the uh, lover, the woman they both love. And they respond by kidnapping the daughter of the Mexican uh, leader. Elena is Salma Hayek and Ophelia is the, the woman uh, in the Menage a Trois. An interesting film. Not really outstanding, but interesting.